Welcome to Flux Effects Tutorials. Today's tutorial, we're going to focus on using the uh, pivot point and the align tool to uh, to improve our workflows. Um, basically, we're going to use an example from a 3D set I've been developing for an upcoming animated short. And in particular, we're going to look at the chandelier and the chain and how we can use the, uh, the align tool and the pivot tool to uh, find the center of both objects and quickly join them together. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out everything and we'll start new. So we're going to, first thing we'll do is we'll jump over in 3D Exchange and we're going to import the chandelier. So the chandelier is an FBX file. So I'm just going to grab it and drag it into 3D Exchange. Uh, just click on OK. And there's the chandelier. So if we come over to the modify uh, panel and we go down to uh, P for pivot uh, and we click the edit pivot, you can see we have a couple of options here. We can move the pivot point from the scene root to the bottom center or the uh, pivot center. So, um, and then the other options we have is we can export this into iClone. Uh, by coming in the upper left and going export, or we can go over to the modified panel and under node, we can pit, apply to iClone. Um, I prefer to use the modified panel uh, because that'll bring it straight into iClone under the props. Uh, if you go to the upper left and you use that version, we'll go over here to content, you'll see it'll actually put it in the uh, custom directory under uh, props. And that's nice if you're going to use an object over and over again. But if you're going to use it one time, no sense of cluttering uh, your uh, content library. So we'll jump over here and you can see we have the chandelier. Uh, we're not going to mess with textures right now. And you can, again, see the, uh, the pivot points right there uh, at the root, uh, just it was in uh, 3D Exchange. So we'll, we'll work on this, making those later. So let's bring the chain in. The chain to an OBJ, it's the same exact process. Just grab the OBJ, bring it in. Don't worry about the uh, old file, it's already been exported. Once you click OK, it'll import it, and there's your chain. Uh, if we click on Edit Pivot again, you'll see the pivot point on this chain is, is way off. Uh, it's, it's kind of off and, uh, above it, and that would make it really hard to align with the chandelier. So we can make some changes here in 3D Exchange and by picking the uh, pivot center or the bottom center, uh, pivot center being uh, the best choice, uh, still not where we want it, but we'll go ahead and take this into iClone. Same thing, you can go to the upper left and bring it in and have it store in your custom library or just come over here to the node and click apply to, apply to iClone. Uh, so we've done that. We're going to jump back into iClone and to find the chain, just click on it and hit F and it'll bring the chain up. Um, you can see where the scales are kind of messed up. Uh, so you can see the chandelier is kind of off in the uh, distance. So uh, let's go ahead and fix that. So lock the X, Y, and Z. So it does, every, does everything proportional. We'll uh, make the chain 25% and then we're gonna increase the chandelier to about 600. Um, there we go. We can see both. They look about the right size. Uh, good enough for the tutorial. So we'll go back to the chandelier and let's start with the chain. So just select the chain, hit F, and it'll pull the, the chain up. Uh, if we go over to the uh, modify panels and we scroll down, if you go all the way down, you'll see a set for pivot. I don't like the quick set, but you'll see this little uh, table here and you can actually select right, left, top, bottom, uh, center and so we can move the pivot around so in this case we'd i, I want to go to the uh, right and the center and just by clicking on it you can see it moves the pivot point now we'll go to the chandelier and we're going to do the same thing we want it to be at the top and the center so we just click on it and look at that it just moves the pivot point for you and you can see if you want it bottom or whatever top it'll, it'll put it wherever you want it so now we have the two points that we want to line up between the uh, chain and the chandelier and uh, that's going to make our life a lot easier. So we're going to come over here to the chain. You can see everything centered. Let's pull it in so you can see the chandelier and the, and the chain. And I'll show you how easy it is by using the align tool. So if you come up to the menu and you click on, you'll see the little bar, a couple of bars there. Uh, that's the symbol for the uh, line to tool. Just click on it uh, with the item you want to align, uh, which is the chain. And once you click on that, 
uh, you'll see it kind of gives you the little uh, square with the cross in the center. Just click what the two you want, the objects to align the pivots. Uh, of course, we're going to select pivot. You can also align to center. Uh, but for this tutorial, we want pivot. And then we're just going to align X. Uh, we're going to align Y and Z. When you, when you select Y, you won't see anything because that's kind of looking into the screen. And then Z is... Uh, there we go, up and down. So, so we still have a minor change to make because the chain is uh, actually uh, right now perpendicular to the chandelier. Uh, but we can fix that very quickly by uh, just rotating the chain because now we have the X, Y, and Z aligned. So the uh, pivot points right where we, we want it. So just select the chain, go ahead and scroll up to rotate. And we want to rotate in the Y direction and we're going to go 90 degrees. And look at that, just that quick, you have the, uh, the chain and the chandelier. But I'm going to show you a couple other tricks that uh, hopefully you'll find valuable. So, so let's zoom in here. So we've got everything lined up. They're perfectly centered by selecting the top center and the, uh, as we did, the right center. Um, I'm going to slide the uh, chain down just for cosmetics. Uh, I don't want to show that longer shaft on the top. I like that. Um, so we've got that where we want it. So now one of the things we can do is um, when I when I want to move the chandelier, I want to control it from the bottom. So right, I'll select the chandelier and I'll just come down here and I'll just move the pivot point for the chandelier to the uh, bottom. Whoops, hit it back up. And uh, this way I've got the pivot point where I want. Now, now I'm actually going to set this up so that when I move the chandelier, the chain will move with it. And um, and now you have to make sure you have your pivot point set before you do this step. So I'm going to go ahead and select the chain. Same thing, go to the modify panel and I'm going to scroll down to or scroll up actually to the attach. And under attach, I'm going to pick parent and the parent, I'm going to come over here and select the chandelier. So there we go. So I've got the, ch the chain now parented to the chandelier. And so the benefit of that is, as you can see, um, if I rotate it, it rotates the chandelier and the uh, and the chain there, uh, you know, so um, makes it, um, there it goes. So uh, I'll show you another trick. So since with these parent it, uh, if we hold control down, we can duplicate the prop. And you'll notice by just selecting the chandelier, it will duplicate the chandelier and the chain. And that, that kind of makes it nice, right? Because all these sub props for any item, when you duplicate it, will come with it. So uh, very quickly, we can make multiple chandeliers simply by holding down control. Uh, you can, if you have a lot, you can also use the multi uh, edit tool. So, uh, but let's turn everything back on and just again, go back to, uh, now you can kind of see a little better what, we, what I was doing there. In this case, I have four chandeliers. I was able to get one aligned. Each chain is not perfectly aligned to the center. I made four copies and, um, you know, really helped with uh, getting everything lined up very quickly and it'll look good. So I'm going to go ahead and end this now. Uh, appreciate uh, you tuning in and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, let me know. Uh, have a good day.